Yes, it's still good morning, Abuja. And one of the things we do on this program is to educate Nigerians on what to do, especially road users. And yes, we have our very own personal person in the person of CRC Sylvanus Ekpeyong. He is a unit head of operations, Central Business District, FRSC. Good morning, sir. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, and Good thanks morning. for joining us on the show. Thank you. Welcome to our program. Thank you. All right. So today we are talking about road use activities, but before you tell us all of that, let's uh, give us the overview of the uh, road situation in the FCC. Yes, um, you know, we are still on the SALA period. FRS is uh, carrying out a special uh, patrol operation during this SALA festive period. And uh, within the city center, the traffic situation has been very light. Mm -hmm. But outside the city center, the traffic situation has been heavy flow of traffic, especially when you go towards Nyanya Maraba and towards the uh, Duba. You know, those exits from the uh, city center, you see people traveling and they have been serious traffic in those areas. But within the city center, it has been very light traffic. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I was about to say kudos to you people and well done, you know, keep, keep, keep the good work. Okay, so now let's talk about how to avoid distractions. We still see some drivers being distracted on the road, some with their, some with either overload, some with talking, some with maybe their phones, their handsets. What, 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 sh what should we do? Maybe like if I'm one of the passengers in the car, what am I expecting? Because whether we like it or not, this is not all about your work alone. We too have duties roles to play. So as, as, as a passenger, what do you think I should tell that driver? You know, when we talk about road safety, it's a very everybody business. Mm. Because the road is meant for all of us to make use of it. Mm. And as a passenger in the vehicle, you advise your driver. Because your life at that moment, uh, apart from God, your life at the, at the hands of mm. the driver. Because he is in charge of that vehicle at that moment, control the movement of the vehicle at that particular time. And your life is at risk. If you did not caution your driver and you allowed him to distract himself, at times even passengers mm. distract drivers. You see mm. passengers telling drivers, uh, yeah, we got to change the, st the station. <laughs> I don't mean listen to yes. this music. <laughs> and all those things are distractions. Mm. So allow the driver to concentrate. Mm. And if you notice that the driver is carrying more than the required passengers they're supposed to carry, please advise the driver, please don't do this. Mm. Well, why would you jump pack everybody inside the vehicle and at that moment the driver will not be able to control the steering mm. of that vehicle. Mm. So we advise every road users and the drive and the passengers in the vehicle when the driver is doing what is wrong, please advise the driver to adhere to road road traffic rules and regulations. Mm. Okay, thank you very much. And um in line with uh, what you just said, I want you to quickly take us through the hazards of distracted driving on the road. Like uh, my colleague just mentioned, I saw one with my two eyes mm. just this yesterday. Four people in front. Wow. And the, the person driving was virtually hanging. Mm. And I, I, I turned again, I saw another set of four people behind and no one is saying anything. The car was, I was just staring at the car until, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. You see, this is what we are talking about. When we see people doing that, a vehicle that is meant for just a, a driver and a passenger in front, and maybe three people at the at the back seat, and you see them carry more than one. I, there was a time, I think I mentioned in these stations, a crash we have along uh, uh, Sabonse Road. Okay. The driver was carrying three passengers with him, himself making That's four. And mm -hmm. see anking somebody by the door side of the driver. The person was just anking. Mm -hmm. So when they were going, and uh, the driver, saw, the trailer was coming, and uh, some a vehicle was overtaking the trailer. Oh, okay. And the driver, uh, you know, the the person, the passengers that sat close to the driver, fear that trauma came in, and what mm -hmm. he was trying to do to maybe I don't know, he distracted jump himself. You no, know, he not jump out. Instead of him, he now press the throttle. Of the vehicle, why the driver was trying to control, and mm -hmm. all of them run into the vehicle, and everybody gone. Oh, so why would goodness. you, as a passenger, enter such a vehicle that you have seen that the vehicle is already overloaded? 
Even the driver is looking for money. Why would you, as a passenger, enter? You know that this is a danger. Mm. This is uh, we are waiting for it to happen mm. because mm. we don't just say accident. Accident don't just happen. There are plans. But if they crash, you know you are waiting for it to happen, and you saw the vehicle is already overloaded. Why must you enter such vehicle? We advise public, motoring public, and other road users. Please don't patronize such vehicles. And when you notice that this vehicle is overloaded, please be patient. And wait for other vehicles. You don't just enter the vehicle that is overloaded. Mm -hmm. One, your life is at risk. The life of other motorists, the road user, is also at risk. The economic situation is not even allowed. When the vehicle damaged now, how do you repair the vehicle to make use of the road again? So we advise people, please don't overload your vehicle. And when we apprehend such people, those such vehicles that are overloaded the vehicle, normally, we the vehicle would never leave our base at that moment. Mm. We will load everybody. You find your way. The driver will go through what we call public enlightenment. For the, uh, for the next three to five days, mm. we'll come every morning, we we'll sit down with the public enlightenment officer, who will tell you the risk and the danger and why you should not carry overload. Mm. Then after then, we'll now give you a ticket. <coughs> you can't pay token to come. <laughs> okay, so honestly, I must commend you, you people, for what you're doing. You're doing a very good job because, yes, I see your cars in strategic points, and you know, we see them around. But then there are some places where, by, like, for instance, where she saw that incident, I wish there was a number she could quickly call, you know, to allow them that, okay, there's a car moving from area one to Wuse. So that maybe there's a way people can maybe we lay the car or something. Is there is there any means as such? There's a two free number mm. that every Nigerian should, should have. have. Okay. One, one so maybe two you two. have to share it. Yes. One to two. It's a two free number. Mm. You call and we are not touch anything. And once you call, we have a call center mm. domiciled in the national headquarters. Mm. They are there 24 hours. When once you call that one to two, they will direct the call to the nearby command. Mm -hmm. Or near my traffic uh, ambulance point, that will be quickly ahead to that situation at that moment. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, quickly because uh, we are going mm -hmm. now. Uh, safety tips before we go. Um, thank God. The safety tip we always talk about is uh, for everybody. Like we said, the road safety is everybody business. Mm -hmm. And for you to make use of the road, you have to obey the travel rules and regulations. And check your vehicle. Are they in good working condition before you put it on the road? If they are not good, please, if you hear any sound, consult your mechanics mm. and make sure they fix those things. And we said the rainy season is here. Yeah. Please make sure your wipers working. are working very well. Your yeah. cooling systems are all in good. They are working very well. Mm. So that when you move on the road, the rain will not distract you. Mm. And please, if you have emergency, you need to park. Park in a safe place. Mm. Don't just park in the center of the road. Mm. You advise people go towards the edge of the right hand of the road and park. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for Thank your time you. and your advice. Mm -hmm. Yes, we've heard it all. We've heard that advice. You know, your life is very precious to you, to your family, and to the entire society. So, it is the responsibility of all of us. And we have been talking with TRC, Sylvanas Ekoyon, who is the Unit Head of Operations, CBD, Federal Safety Code. Now let's go on this quick break. When we come back, we'll still have more for you. Don't go anywhere, please.